Hello girlies, this is how to make a guy chase you. I'm sorry guys, this video is not for you. I'm gonna make a video specifically for you, but this is just for my girls, okay? So to make someone chase you is actually not that hard. There are four main steps that you need to follow. And as long as it's the right person, and this is really important because to be honest, you can't make anyone chase you because there's just some people that are not capable of showing love or being in a relationship or are just not ready, okay? It needs to be the right person. As long as it is, these steps work so, so good. Okay, first thing, and this is gonna be like, duh, you need to be attractive. There needs to be something about you that pulls the guy in. So these are like, this is more like the superficial stuff, like being attractive physically, having attractive energy, you know, being warm, being, having a nice personality, a good aura and things like that. So there needs to be a reason for the guy to want to approach you or like be in your presence. After step one, I'm not going to talk about it a lot. You know what to do. Step two is even if you make the first move and I'm totally on for making the first move as a girl, like for instance, if you see a cute guy, a cute guy at a bar, I'm totally pro like smiling at him or going and saying hi or asking for advice, direction, starting the conversation in a friendly way, you know, things like that. However, it's really important that after you do this, let him come to you. Take a step back. If he comes to you, good. If not, that's good again. You're not going to chase someone that doesn't come to yours, not like interested. Like, especially if you show the interest and they're not reciprocating, just move on. Don't take it personally, okay? But just take a step back. Let them come to you. This is you know, that period, I think the first, second date is the period where you kind of play a little bit. You let them come to you. You play hard to get, you know? You give maybe mixed messages. You play those mind games that you hear about, like, oh, don't text him right away. Don't be available all the time, you know, things like that. Show him that you're busy, um, that you have your own life, that you don't need him. And this is really important. You shouldn't need a guy that is just mad anyways. So you should be busy with your own life anyways. And you shouldn't be like needy and clingy right away. After this period, moving on to phase three, when it's pretty clear that you like each other, when he has shown you that he's being consistent, that he's interested in you and so on, you start giving back. So this is usually the phase at which a lot of girls fuck up. And I was one of these people where <laughs> I would play hard to get for way too long until the guy lost interest at some point, you know? Yeah, a little bit of spice is good, but if it's too much, then they lose interest because they want to feel like you want them back as well. You know, unless it's like a narcissistic player that just wants to hunt the girl and then when he gets her, he loses interest, unless you want that, which you probably don't, if you want a normal guy, you know, if you don't show interest back, you know, he'll just lose interest at some point. So it's really important that you show affection. Guys need validation. They need compliments. And it's easy to win them over when you do these things. When Maybe this is a bit dark, I guess, but, you know, Freud was right. Like, guys are usually little boys that are just looking for a mommy to take care of them. And we're the same, honestly. Most girls I've met are little girls that just want someone to take care of them and treat them like a princess, right? Most of us are not so emotionally mature um, that we're super self-sufficient and we don't need anyone. I don't know, maybe you are one of these people, then you don't even need this video. But, you know, as long as you're imperfect and human, like most of us, you are looking for someone to kind of take care of you, to love you, to validate you and so on. And guys are exactly the same as us. We're not as different from each other as you think. So they need to feel like you're chasing them a little bit as well, that, you know, you're taking initiative, that 
you show that you're interested in them as well. Um, and also, like I was talking about this with one of my friends, when you show them love, they will want to give you the world. When you play hard to get and you're just playing these mind games, you know, maybe you're more appealing to their ego and they won't show as much affection and validation and love as if they won't want to give you so much as when you actually show love to them. And the fourth step, and this is really important, especially at the beginning, you need to put boundaries. So remember when I said you don't need the guy? You have to show this, that you're willing to leave if he's not respecting your boundaries, if he disrespects you in any way. So why am I even talking about this? A lot of guys, I'm telling you this from my experience, from other people's experience as well. A lot of guys, they kind of like to push your boundaries. I feel like they're like little kids that just want to see how far you can go, you know? And, you know, this includes stuff like making sexual comments like very, very soon or, you know, in an inappropriate timing um, or, I don't know, being inconsistent in any way, um, leaving you unseen, canceling dates, stuff like that, only texting you after a certain, like 10 p.m. or stuff like that. It's super important that you have boundaries, that you call them out and that you don't take any shit. And when I say this, it's not just telling them, oh, you shouldn't be doing this. It's actually being, being willing to walk away. So for instance, what I would do, I would be like, okay, I don't think we're compatible. You know, for me, this is important or whatever. Um, I don't know if there's any point in continue, continuing this or, you know, this is what I want or whatever. And there is a risk that they might be like, okay, whatever, I don't want to be involved. I can't give you what you want. That's fine. But honestly, I don't think it ever happened to me. Like if I call them out on something or I'm willing to walk away, they're usually like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that. Let's make it work somehow. And they apologize and they kind of chase me after that. Because when you show them that, okay, these are my boundaries um, and I'm not letting you cross them, you know, they respect you even more. And this is not even like a manipulation, dark psychology trick, like mind game. It's just about having self-respect and boundaries. I'm not telling you to ask too much of them in the beginning and to have really high expectations because you know, in the beginning, he, especially in the beginning, he doesn't owe you anything. So anything he does is like a gift, a plus, right? So I'm not telling you, um, oh, you sh he should text you all day, every day, take you out on dates every day, send you flowers and stuff like that. Like don't have unrealistic expectations, but there should be like certain boundaries, like certain things that he... If he doesn't do, then, you know, you should just move on, right? So, yeah, these are the four things that you need to do to have a healthy relationship and to make someone chase you. It's actually pretty easy and it works with 99% of guys. The other 1%, maybe they're just not interested in a relationship or maybe they're not interested in you and that's fine. You don't need to make everyone love you. I don't know why you would want that anyways, but yeah, you're not compatible with everyone and you should accept that and that's totally fine. I hope this video helped and if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. Any other suggestions, leave them in the comments. Lots of love and have a good day.